Hey everybody, this is Logan here from Red Bandana Gaming once again with a video that has actually been highly requested of me for quite some time. I haven't done it just because I really haven't been happy with um, basically my setup. This is going to be the Game Room 2020 tour. I haven't done one yet. <clears throat> I, I put... Um, an image up on Facebook and it blew up and thousands of people are commenting on it and uh, asking what I have back here and so on and so forth so I decided to do a little video so there it is no just kidding uh, let's get started so we're going to start with the the corner over here we're not going to that's the desk area you don't need to see that um, this is the corner of the wall. The top of the stuff up there is actually all my wife's stuff. Uh, her, uh, Harley Quinn figures. She has a whole shelf out there. This is where I keep the, the boxes for my collector's editions. Let's zoom out just, uh, a little bit for you. Whoa, a little too much, a little too much, a little too much. There we go. Um, as you can see, number of PS4... Got some PS3 stuff up here as well. Uh, the Xbox and the Wii U. Here are my... I actually just moved the NES games. So what I have, I have a copy of uh, Akari Warriors 2 boxed. Oops. My Stuff Sonic that I got last trip to uh, Disney. Got it from um, Mitsukoshi in Japan over in Epcot. My Sega stuff. Yes, I do have a copy of Primal Rage. Looks like it got crushed here, but it didn't. I actually got it at a, a clearance thing for a comic book store. And I got it for $6.99. It was still in the box. I didn't care that it was crushed, even though I already have this game. <laughs> I have it, but I don't have it sealed because I had it from back when I was a kid. Got a yellow VMU. I've never seen one of these. It was um, pre-owned through Gamers Inc. in Orlando um, said the battery was replacing everything and figured what the heck I got the 3D control pad right there uh, now if we start back here you see I've got some Final Fantasy stuff I got Orin little mini arcade things I got uh, my Metroid uh, Master Sword there you go now let, let's start with the PS2 shelf some people complain about these third-party controllers, but man, I just recently got that one. Oh, this one. This one's actually one of my favorites. Uh, this was for the PS1. You can use it for the PS2, but it doesn't have all the functionality. You can use... A lot of people like the original, but I like this one the best. I played it all the, uh, played with this one all the time. I've got uh, more collector's editions. It's my PS3. PS2, got some Street Fighter stuff, my PS1 games, it, this shelf unfortunately isn't wide enough, so I couldn't, you know, put them up correctly, so I had to lay the games down. There you go, I got some to Otaku, Totaku, Totanku, to those things, what are they called? Totaku, there you go, a couple of those. My Final Fantasy VIII Zelda uh, figure. Love Final Fantasy VIII. He was awesome. And he was highly underrated. Uh, my Vita games, most of them I got. They didn't have boxes on them. Um, PSP. PSP. And some other PlayStation stuff. Now this is the old PlayStation Underground uh, disc that they send you when you... Uh, signed up for it. It was kind of cool. These are my uh, blue Vita. I have my 2000, my 1000, my Go. That's a case for games. PS4, as you can see, I don't have too many compared to, you know, most people. We do have um, a, a few more. Uh, my wife has, I think, almost 200, but I really don't do too much for the PS4, as you guys know. Sorry about that. Not a really big PS4 fan. Uh, now down here, 
DS shelf. Those are all DS games. This thing is cool right here. It is a little book. It's like a journal thing, notepad. That looks like an original Game Boy and has Mario Land on it. So those are cool. And yes, those are the Burger King Pokeballs from back in the day with the golden cards in them. Uh, got my Game Gear and another VMU with some Game Gear games there. Now here is where I keep uh, my Switch controllers. Here's some extra PlayStation 4 stuff. And in a binder right here is where I actually keep my GBA games. I have, uh, those are caps for uh, the Switch. I have the PlayStation Classic Mini Garbage, uh, PS1. Now here, in these things, unfortunately, since I don't have enough space for my consoles, and you'll see in just a little bit why, I keep them down in here. A couple more down in there. Now, right above it, I do have... Uh, those are my Japanese or I guess like the repro carts because the Animal Crossing and the Dragon Ball carts are not, you know, real U.S. games. It was Animal Forced and I got it over here translated. Um, everything else is, is Japanese. I actually have the real Animal Forest down there. But the Dragon Ball cart is a mod. Uh, now my N64 game starting down here. Those are the ones that are actually boxed, and I keep them in the, the plastic protectors. But otherwise, with the rest, I made them. Now, these are all my Super Famicoms. So, I actually have more Super Famicom than I have Super Nintendo, just because uh, I've been to a lot of uh, retro stores, and there's a convention in Orlando called uh, Megacon, and I picked up a ton there. Now, my N64 controller collection, the ones on the... The top three are first party. That one is a third party, but it looks real. And then I just got the Admirals in the center. And then my Tribute controllers. Uh, this was one of the ones that I liked when I was a kid. A lot of people hated it, but I had a green one and a blue one, and recently I found a red one, so I picked that up. My favorite, the Retro Fighter Brawler 64. Oh, such a great controller, such a great controller. If you want to see more about this, I have an unboxing on the channel as well. Got my PS3 up there with a the little retro arcade games. Got my uh, little Boba Fett keychain that I've had since I was a kid. Got a um, thermal detonator from Star Wars, from Galaxy's Edge. There you go. Sophitia from Soul Calibur. Uh, da, 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 da. Whoops, that would be bad if I bumped into my table here. SNES games. Now those I do have to make cases for. Now my GBA. These are the GBA that I have boxes for. So I just recently found out that that Castlevania is worth like $90. And I think the Masters of the Universe is like 30 something 40 bucks. Same thing with the Final Fantasies. Go figure, you know? Now, this is what most people talk about. The Switch, as you can see. <sighs> Got a lot of Switch games. So, yeah, I think that speaks for itself. I'm going to move my lighting lamp thing out of the way now up at the top edge we've got the gamecube uh 3ds wii wii u and some switch special edition boxes and then we have my my lovely one of my favorites my xbox collection so i've got all my xbox one stuff over here now i do have more in the living room where i have my one x here i have a 1s and i have an all digital which i got for 125 from a gamestop that was closing so that was pretty cool so my 360 360 say i got a i got a marcus venus dotaku um, doo -doo -doo. now that blue rock candy whatever xbox 360 i actually use it for my pc regular xbox games and some replacement i want to say oh the sonic totaka see and then another Sonic. Now, this one, ignore the stack of cases, but this is a really cool thing. I don't know how well you can see it right now because of the glare. That's my Halo cabinet. Oh, that's my Halo cabinet. So, I, I, I love Halo. As you guys can see, I have a lot of Halo stuff. 
Um, yeah, battle rifle. Now, I'll show you the the around the top. This is boxes over there. We'll get over there in a second. So I have the window. Most people don't realize it, but yeah, I have a window behind my uh, my TV. And this is the the TV that I usually game on in the game room. It's only a 49 inch. Nothing nothing fancy. Uh, have a switch here. 2DS. Oh, I gotta put that back up on the shelf. Uh, my switchy switch. Now I have the purple 1S, which I had to buy. I didn't need it, but it was purple and I thought it was really cool. Uh, it came with some Fortnite stuff. I don't know. I don't, I don't play that. My 360 original Xbox. And I got my Sonic Collector's Edition. Sonic Mania. GameCube. N64. Now these are all the wires and everything because the my setup isn't too fancy for the streaming. Yes, my Coke. Um, use my Dell gaming laptop. I also use, I have Surface and a Surface laptop that I use as well. Uh, I have a Yeti mic there and, and my PlayStation, Xbox controller, external hard drive, all that other good stuff. Now over there, yes, I have to keep a mini fridge. Have to keep a mini fridge for my, for my sodies. Um, over there, are box games now those collector's editions i'm i'm not a call of duty guy but i got those for like nine dollars a piece so i bought them both now those my mortal Kombat shelf i actually just put these shelves up today day of filming just because uh those a lot of that stuff there was in the windowsill and i didn't like it, it was hard to uh open the the windowsill so now we're getting to something that's not as much gaming, but one of my favorite parts. Yes, I'm a huge, huge Power Rangers fan. I have big shelves full of Power Ranger stuff. Yep. Strategy guides down there for gaming. There's just uh, random accessories, cables, uh, PC controllers, stuff like that. That's where I usually keep all that stuff. Tripod for filming. Uh, I have a lot of DVDs and stuff in there. Another soda, yeah. I I ignore the other soda. Uh, more Power Ranger stuff. I actually have signed by uh, JDF when I met him in 2012 at Florida Supercon. Yeah. So now more Power Ranger stuff. Yes, that is from the the 2017 movie. And if you don't like it, tough. I did. Um. Power Rangers, Power Rangers, more Power Rangers. There you go. More Power Rangers. Uh, that is a bin where I keep my magic cards. So, yes, I do have the, the the Lancer box for collector's editions. Just because the closet is full of boxes like this. Got my, Now that I got when I worked at uh, the game store, you know which one, many, 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 many years ago. And this is what you guys see behind me. So, I do have my Super Famicom. I got this not too long ago because I got a Super Famicom at uh, Megacon. And it wasn't working. So, I took it to uh, my local... Um, I, I guess you can call it. It's CD Trader uh, down here. Guy named Geo's awesome. Um, he also has like a retro game, stop, a game store, I guess, shop kind of in it. And he can fix all this stuff. So he tried to fix my Super Famicom. He pulled it apart. It was just it was just awful. Things were corroded. And he was like, yeah, not even worth it. So he said he'd get me, find me another one. He found me one in the box. I think I paid 80 bucks for it. Yeah, fantastic. Virtual Boy got that for Christmas a couple years ago. Now I do have the NES back here. This I got from CD Trader as well. Um, that's the Rob Complete Everything's Minty minty and it came with the big plastic protector which is one of the prized pieces of my collection pokemon i got the pokemon sorry i like pokemon um yep pokemon my little skyrim shelf i have more skyrim stuff but it's in storage just because it's kind of like posters and walls uh, scrolls and stuff like that a uh, little legend of zelda shelf because i have two more in the living room and then that's where i just keep uh, empty controller boxes otherwise you see the wolverine 
poster quite often. And then another shelf full of controllers. So I think that's about everything. Oh, there's a light. Don't blind yourself. So, yeah. So, guys, that'd be all. That, that, that's it. It's not super in-depth. If you want me to do more of an in-depth video on certain parts of the collection, say, the N64 games or the Xbox 360 games or whatever, just let me know. And I'll actually do a list where I piece out uh, what games I actually have. And uh, if you guys want to see more, let me know. But that is a quick game room tour. This is the only one for 2020 until probably the end of the year when I move. I'm going to move, I'm going to have a much bigger room, I'm going to have take a lot of stuff because I got a lot of boxes and storage of game stuff. It's kind of sad. I would like to put it up, but I can't. Only so much space in here. But yeah, if you guys want to see more, let me know. Tell me if you want to see other parts of my collection. I'll do those kind of videos. Until then, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. Hopefully you like my collection. Don't there's no reason you can do like my collection. Um and subscribe if you already have it. And for those of you who have subscribed, thank you so much for doing so. Thank you so much for watching. Uh again, if you have any comments, leave them down below. Tell me what you want to see. If you want to see more of my GameCube collection, if you want to see more of my PS1 collection, just let me know. So yeah! Or my Power Rangers. I got a lot more Power Rangers. I got Ninja Turtles too. But that's in another part of the house. So the outside of the house. This is just the game room. But I have a whole stuff in the living room too. But that's neither here nor there. That's not part of the game room. This is the game room. We're in the game room. This has been Red Bandana Gaming. Logan from Red Bandana Gaming. And my game room. And my 2020 tour of my game room. How many times did I say game room? Game room, game room, game room. Thanks again. And like we always say, be legendary. <laughs>